Hey everybody, good day four of the 21 for 21 fast. Just wanted to kind of make a quick video here, touch bases with everybody. Get my notes up here where I needed them. Um, anyway, uh, with Sunday being yesterday, things were kind of crazy with time frame and all that with church and everything. So I didn't get a video made. My wife made that one last night, which uh, if you didn't watch it, check it out. Uh, gives you some of her thoughts on what all is going on. Anyway, that being said, uh, church was about being in the presence of God, and that's what the message was about, with being in the presence of God, and and how if you really want to experience all, you need to just stay in the presence of God. Uh, Pastor John talked about um, the uh, Moses going to the tabernacle of meeting outside the camp and the pillar of fire staying there and Moses uh, talking with God face to face. And then uh, on top of that, he, uh, he, he talked about uh, Joshua staying in, the, in there after Moses left, staying in the presence of God for even longer, being in there and how, uh, how really that's where we want to be. And uh, another verse that I thought of when we were talking about it is when Jesus talks about he's the vine, we are the branches. And we got to be plugged in. We got to be connected to him at all times. And that's kind of what this fast really is about. What when you're fasting is about going deep and and soaking up as much time with God as you possibly can. When you're feeling that hunger come on, especially by day four, you're really kind of feeling it. Um, that can be just that intense time and. Using that hunger to drive your prayer time with God, taking the time when you would be eating a meal, praying, and just really seeking God for all that He is doing and wanting to do in your life. That's something that uh, that's really important to do through all this. Um, Jesus, when He was tempted in the, in the garden, uh, in the garden, in the desert, when He was tempted. Uh, after his 40-day fast, uh, he's, he makes a statement to Satan when he's asking him to turn the stones to bread. He's like, man shall not live by bread alone, but by the, every word which proceeds from the mouth of God. And when you're doing a fast, that's really the crux and the, the, the basicness of it, is saying, I don't need bread. I need the words from God. I need to hear from God. I need to be in communion and in fellowship with God. And that's something that really needs to be done if you're going to do a fast good, if you're going to do the fast right. You need to be in that fellowship with God where you can be spending that time just feeding your soul with, with communion with God, with, with the bread of life uh, and all that. So really that's something that I, I want to make sure that everybody understands that Fasting has all kinds of benefits in your life. And that prayer time can really bring out things that you never thought possible. You can prophesy things in prayer that you, like, I've had it many times where I'm praying and I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm like, what am I, where did that come from? And it's like just that communion with God where, like, I'll say things, I'll pray something. And then something completely different, or some completely new, comes up in in my life, the life of my family, anybody, where it brings out what what you do. And and with that, I would also say that time with God, it really does, because it helps you to know the mind of God, so you can you can just you just know where the Spirit is going with in your life and the life. Of people around you and different things and it really opens up your paradigm to where he's taking you which is kind of a common theme in this in this uh, fast here is where God is taking us I mentioned it a few times I'm sure you've noticed by now anyway just that whole thing you know pray over your kids and pray what you want for their lives what you want them to be who you want them to be how you want them to go 
pray it in a blessing. Bless your children in prayer. Uh, lay hands on them. Pray over them uh, so they know what you're praying over them. And just prophesy what God will do in their life. Whatever other situations you may be feel, uh, or dealing with, you know, pray over it. Prophesy what you want God to do over your life, over where you're at. And then take that, that and then, as Jesus did at the end of his prayer on in his prayer at the garden when he's being tempted and saying, not my will, Father, but yours be done. It's important to remember that we want God's will to be done in our lives and that our, our will can sometimes get clouded. So praying those things in prayer, sometimes you will pray something and God will go, I hear you, but there's something I have that's better for you. And really listen for the voice of God. That's part of being plugged in and in his presence. You don't just tell him everything and hear nothing back. You pray to him. You tell him your desires, your hopes, your dreams, what you're wanting, what your vision is, what you would like to prophesy. And if he blesses that, then that is when it becomes a prophecy, really. So that you fully understand, I guess, well, I don't know if you can ever fully understand those dynamics, but have a clearer picture of what I'm talking about here is just when we're in that presence with God, we know the mind of God to a different level where we see God work and move. And that is where we want to be. That is the, the driving force for this fast 21 days to consecrate ourselves, to set ourselves apart, set it aside to really kind of get that clearer picture of where God's leading us perhaps, or just to know that we're hearing his voice with every step we take and we can walk in faith and go, I don't know, this doesn't make any sense. That's my own personal thing. You know, when, when I felt he was telling me to get a job at the church, it didn't make any sense because there's just so many different aspects to that of it's not, something that's a, uh, it's not something that I, I was thinking about and, and where the, the doors he opened up weren't doors that I was like well, super excited about those doors. But at the same time, I'm super excited because I know that he's leading me in that way. And so that's something you just, you, you know that when you pray and you fast, this all started when I prayed and fast for the 40 days before my birthday this last year to end out my year drawing close to God so that when I started this year of 38, I would be as close to God as I possibly could be through that time of prayer and fasting. And then I start out this 2021 with a 20 day consecration fast for the actual calendar year versus my own uh, personal year. Uh, I ended out one year and start, you know, you get the picture. Anyway, um, that's just, I want to make sure everybody know, or understands that the more you fast, the more you pray, the deeper you go, the, the, the deeper connected you get to God and more prayer time in general is good in our lives. You know, um, people could stand to turn off movies and television books even, you know, and just take an extra 20, 30 minutes out of their day for the whole year and pray 21 minutes. Let's do that. Huh? Um, so I'm just going to pray for everybody here that God will just speak to you and really deepen you through this time of fasting and prayer or just prayer or whatever you're doing. So Lord God in heaven, I thank you for this time that we have here that you were working and speaking in my life and in the lives of everybody watching here that you are a personal loving God that wants to be involved in our everyday need and wants to be in, be with us as much as you want us to be with you. And that, God, I pray that you will help us to really understand and to go deep with your, your will in our lives, that 
we may understand fully what you're doing, that our desires may become what your desires are, that we love you so deeply that we don't care about any of our personal life, our personal needs, our personal thoughts or direction, that, God, we would put all our faith, all our trust, all our hope, and all our desire in you to store up our treasures in heaven, that we may receive that reward which you have for us which is far better than anything we could make for ourselves. Thank you for your guidance, direction, and wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen.